welcome to my kitchen. Today I am going to be making a apple cake. This is a wonderful cake. We've made this. This has been a family, a family delicious cake <laughs> since back, I think around in the 60s, early 60s. Um, my cousin Gladys used to make this. She still makes it. Matter of fact, we were at her house just recently and she had it and I said, oh, I've got to make that because everyone is going to love it because it is delicious and so simple to make. I mean, it is just wonderful. Um, so that's what I'm doing today, making a very, very easy cake. And... Um, you start out, you need four apples, diced up small, and if you don't have four, throw a little bit of applesauce in. I mean, we've all got applesauce. So, um, or if you think it's, after you get it mixed up, if you think it's going to be a little bit dry, um, add a little bit of applesauce. That'll work. Matter of fact, I've been going to make this for the last, I think, three weeks because I get my apples laid out. My great-grandchildren come in. Oh, Grandma, can I have an apple? Sure. And then my husband goes to the store and buys apples and kids come. Grandma, can I have an apple? Sure. <laughs> oh, so this time I think I may get it made. I don't know, but um, I had one apple that was froze, and I'm going to use it, so I may have a little piece left over there. So anyway, got my apples diced up, but if they come in, they're going to want an apple, and they're going to get a banana instead, but I have bananas laying over there, so they love their fruit. I'm making a lot of noise. So, we're going to get our apple all ready. And, um, I'm going to get my half a cup of um, Crisco and a half a cup of milk. Get that mixed together here. You know what? I'm not sure if that's going to mix very good. So, get something else to mix it up with. I, I don't really want to uh, dissolve it, uh, get it hot. But if I do have to, I'll have to. But I think this might work. Just want to get it kind of dissolved a little bit. Well, maybe I will, maybe I won't. Come on, Vera. Well, if nothing else, I'll make a big mess. Make a big mess and a lot of noise. Okay. Anyway, half a cup of milk and a half a cup of Crisco and white specks all over me. Okay, now we're going to put this right in here. Mm. 
Then we add in three quarters cup of sugar, um, a teaspoon of um, baking soda, a teaspoon of baking powder, and a half a teaspoon of salt. Now I'll have all this posted down below, but, um, and then two cups of flour. So, but like I said, I'll have all this posted down below. Uh, so we'll, we'll get it all to you. And I'm going to mix that up a little bit. And then I'm going to add in two eggs. And I'm going to slightly mix them a little bit. Those are such nice eggs. My friend Charlotte brings me eggs all the time. Oh, I thank her so much for those. Her son has, I don't know, I think 20 some chickens. I don't know what it is, but oh my goodness. I am so blessed with those fresh eggs. I made um, pot pie the other day. Oh my goodness. Talk about yellow. I use the eggs for those and oh, they were so good, the egg yolks. That's what I use in my pot pie. And oh, my husband, trust me, he over ate. Oh, I said, honey, you can have that tomorrow. And he said, I don't think there's gonna be enough. And I said, well, if you quit eating, there would be. But, oh my goodness, those were so good. I love to bake with fresh eggs. I live in town and I don't have them. But boy, those were good. Okay, now I'm gonna to try to work my apples in there. I don't know how she gets that many apples in there, but we're gonna try. Maybe work that in with my spoon. Oh, that smells good. Mmm, yum, yum. I haven't done a lot of baking since Christmas. Um, my, I bake cookies now and then, but my daughter does a lot of baking, so I don't do a lot. Got a few things I want to bake right now, but when my granddaughter Taya comes, it's always, what can we bake, Grandma? What do you want to bake? Chocolate chip cookies for daddy. She loves to bake cookies for her daddy. That's his favorite. And that's always nice. And then we're going to put in about a tablespoon of vanilla. I don't measure it. I just kind of eyeball it. Mm. And sometimes when it's been a while since I baked something, I look at my recipe because I want to make sure. Sugar, flour, salt. Oh, I guess I've got everything in there. So now, and you know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of this apple. I just, to look at it, it just looked like it was going to be a lot, but 
you know, it just mixed up in there so beautiful. Lee, that it just, it looks like it's going to use it all. So, my apples were rather big. And then I'm not sure how much I had in that one bag that I had froze. So, I kind of hesitated. But we're going to use it because it's going to take it. And that's good. And then we're going to put this in a 9 by 12 pan that I have already got ready to put, put everything in. Now you'll preheat your oven at 350, which I've already done. Get back in there. a topping for it which is consists of flour brown sugar butter which I'm sure you've all used these before Cinnamon, uh, half a cup of brown sugar, I have to go back to the eye doctor Monday and I know what's going to happen, I had surgery two weeks ago on my right eye. I went to get my driver's license and the lady said, okay, read that line, whichever line you can see and with your right eye. And I said, okay. And she goes, okay. And I'm like, okay, turn it on. And she said, it's on. And it scared me to death. I said, the line's on. And she said, yes. And I laughed and I said, are you kidding me? She said, no, I'm serious. And I said, well, you can't be because there's nothing there but a white square. And she said, well, it's on. And I got upset and she could tell I was upset. And I thought, you got to be kidding me. All I see is white. And she said, well, it's on. And I'm like, <clears throat> okay. I don't see a thing. I'm sorry. There's something wrong with your machine. And I was wanting to make a joke out of it, but I was scared. And I don't get scared very easy. And she said, well... Uh, let's try something else. And she said, read the, what you can read with your left eye. And I read all of them. So she says, try the right eye again. I did. I couldn't read. And another lady came up there and said, um, let me see that a minute. And she couldn't. 
Well, they looked at my driver's license and she said, by any chance have you had an accident or anything recently? And I said, no. And then I said, wait a minute, I did, I, I fell. I don't like to tell people that I fell, but I said I fell, because now I'm beginning to worry. And uh, she said, you fell. She said, what did you hit? And I said, I fell flat on my face. I gotta wash my hands. She said, you fell flat on your face? I said, yeah. I said, I hit right here. And I said, as a matter of fact, I have a picture on my phone. And I said, and you can call the hospital because I just had a CAT scan last week. So I showed her the picture and she said, oh my goodness. But someone saw the picture in the family and they said, that is not you. And I said, that is me. Sometimes you have to add a little more butter. And this is one of those times. So I, she said, well, she says, I am going to trust that you're going back to the doctor, eye doctor, and tell them what's going on. So I'm not going to give you any restrictions, but I'm going to expect you back here. And I said, okay, because I'm scared to death. So I went to the eye, I called the eye doctor, and I went back, went to them, and I had had surgery on that eye a few years ago. And uh, what had happened is I hit hard enough that, and then you add pecans if you want. You don't have to add them if you don't want them. I love them. So I'm gonna put some in there and I'm gonna sprinkle a few on top because oh, I dearly love pecans. So I had not hit hard enough that the um, plate thing that they had put on the back of my eye, whatever it was, I had knocked it loose and I had gone like that for about uh, two months because I went to the doctor but I was having problems with headaches. So that's what my problem was. I went, they told me that's what it was, scheduled surgery, and it was nothing major. They just went in there with a laser and zapped it because there was some kind of junk getting in there from behind and uh, causing me not to be able to see. So anyway, most likely Monday when I go back, I will be wearing glasses most of the time which I don't like but better that than not to be able to see so if you fall and you hurt your eyes hurt your head or whatever don't be like me be stubborn because that's not good I gotta wash my hands again don't be stubborn go to the doctor daddy always said I was this little bull Thanks, Dad. Anyway, that's what it looks like. And that is going to taste wonderful. I can smell the cinnamon. Ooh, that smells so good. I'm going to put that in the oven for 30 minutes. Then we're going to taste it. Now I'll probably need a great big piece of that to taste because it's going to be good. I'll be back in about 30 minutes and we'll see what it tastes like. Or we'll taste what it tastes like. I'm back. It looks beautiful. It smells scrumptious. Oh, that cinnamon. Mm. It smells delicious. And I'm going to taste it. I shouldn't be cutting it yet, but guess what? I always do, don't I? Mm. When you cut it, 
and check it with your toothpick too. First time I checked it, I thought, why is it so hard? And then I remembered it wasn't really hard. It was just that there was an apple there and I got a piece of the apple. So, but um, it took me 30 minutes to bake it. Mm. I don't want to dirty the plate with that. So, first piece is always the hardest. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that looks good. So good. So, so good. And it just smells scrumptious. That cinnamon and that brown sugar. Mmm. Oh, that cinnamon just down through there. Brown sugar. Those, mm, those pecans. I'm going to get a bite back here because I like this back part. I like the around the back where the cinnamon goes down in there and kind of makes it a little bit crunchy. I like that. Ooh, there's a big piece of apple. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Mmm. And moist. Oh my goodness. Oh, that is so moist. I don't think you'd want applesauce in this one. Mmm. That is delicious. Just kind of keep looking at it. Mmm. Mmm. That is delicious. Mmm. Mmm. So good. Oh my goodness. That's delicious. I threw a handful of pecans on top. Oh my gosh, that is so good. You could put a little bit of whipped cream on top of it. Um, some ice cream with it. I don't want anything with it. I just want the cake. It is really, really good. And it isn't real heavy. Um, you can eat two pieces of that. Anyway, that's really good. I hope you try it. It's just a good apple cake. Um, it's delicious. I'll have all the ingredients posted down below. And uh, I hope everyone tries it. Let me know what you think. And it's an old recipe, so you may have tried it before. Let me know if you have. So... Just, um, if you haven't tried it, try it. You're going to love it, I guarantee you. So we'll be bringing you a lot more recipes very soon. So thank you for tuning in today. And stay with us because we're going to have a lot more. So I thank you bunches for being with us today. And look forward to bringing you more recipes. Thank you bunches. Mm -hmm.